Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be reviewing a product for you um, that I've revisited and it is called Clinique Super Balance Makeup. It's the liquid formula. This also comes in a powder formula um, that just came out under a year ago, um, which is also really good, but today I'm going to be talking strictly about the liquid formula. Now first I want to offer a little disclaimer. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm a Clinique Beauty Insider, and what that means is I won a contest um, back this fall, and basically Clinique sends me free products about once a month, and I review them for the Clinique Insider's webpage, which is a part of the Clinique website. So this product was sent to me from Clinique, but I promise that this is my honest opinion and um, I wasn't paid to do this review. I'm just receiving some free products from Clinique as part of the Beauty Insiders Club. I'll provide a link to my um, page on the Insiders Club website at the sidebar. So um, if you want to check out my other Clinique reviews or any of the other Clinique Insider reviews, um, just visit that page. So I just want to start out. This makeup is supposedly for people with combination skin. Now that can be anywhere from combination oily to combination dry. So if you're familiar with the Clinique um, three-step skincare system, it's divided up into four skin types. So this product would be made primarily for people with skin type number two or number three. Number two is for people with normal to dry skin, and number three is for people with normal to oily skin. What this product is supposed to do, it's called the Smart Makeup. Um, it's supposed to add moisture to the parts of your skin that need moisturizing and then absorb oil and the parts that are oily. Sounds great. So, it was perfect for me because I do have combination skin and I teeter between skin type 2 and skin type 3. In the winter, my skin's more dry and in the summer it's more oily. And before I started using this, I was noticing some dry patches um, along my chin and some sides of my face and it was kind of gross and I was just like, hmm, this is a perfect timing to retry the Clinique Super Balance Liquid Makeup. And um, so far, I do really like it. Um, one thing I definitely like about it is that it has a matte finish. So um, it looks really clean and it doesn't have any kind of shine or dewiness to it, which I really like having combination oily skin. Um, it's very creamy and it's easy to blend. Um, and it doesn't dry quickly like a lot of other products um, that you hear about, like the Revlon Color Stay and some other liquid foundations where they're really hard to blend because they dry really, really quickly. Um, I would say that this has about a medium coverage, but it is buildable. Um, I would put on, start with a really light um, layer of it first and see if that's okay, and then from there, if you want more coverage, just build on top of that. Um, it, it is kind of uh, a thicker consistency. It does pour out pretty easily, but you know it does have some pretty good coverage, so I wouldn't like layer it on because um, then it might just look kind of cakey. So I would just say start with a thin layer and see how that works for you. And then from there, if you think you need more coverage, then kind of buff a little bit more onto the skin. Um, so yeah, this is good for skin types 2 and 3. So combination norm, um, dry to combination oily. I wouldn't recommend using this if you have super dry skin or super oily skin. It's really not formulated for those type of skin types. Um, and I just have to say, it really does do what it says it's supposed to do. It really does absorb oil where needed and moisturize where needed. Um, I haven't had any kind of problems with dry patches like I usually do, and this really doesn't make my skin super oily, whereas a lot of other liquid foundations by the end of the day, I'm like an oil slick. Um, it's not the best I've ever used. I definitely do have to touch up with powder here and there, maybe after five to six hours of use, or maybe even seven hours of use. I might just put some loose powder, some blotting powder onto my face to absorb some excess oil, but I would rather do that than have like dry patches on my face. Um, Another great thing is it hasn't irritated my skin at all. It hasn't made me break out or itch, where which a lot of other products do, so that's another plus. Um, okay, so I've highlighted a lot of the things I like about the product. Now I'm going to go into some of the things I dislike about the product. Um, for one, the packaging. I'm not really a big fan. It's a glass bottle, and it has a top like this, so there's no pump, and you have to kind of just pour it out 
and sometimes I find it pours out really easily and then other times it you'll have to like shake it and pound it out and it doesn't really come out of the bottle if there's like an air bubble in there or something so I really like the product inside the bottle but as far as traveling I just think glass is not good and there's no squeeze top there's no pump so it's just not really that easy to use Another thing I noticed is this product isn't very good for minimizing pores. So I have some pretty big pores in my cheek area and in my chin. And while this really does work for balancing my oil and dry areas and it has a nice matte finish and it is easy to blend, it kind of accentuates the size of my pores. Um, a way you can combat this is you can use a pore minimizing primer or lotion beforehand or just exfoliate really well. Um, it wasn't a huge problem for me, but if you do have really big pores, it's maybe something you might want to consider. Another thing is it claims to be long wearing on the website, and I'm not really sure if I would classify this as being something that's long wearing. Um, it does last for me, I would say, about eight hours, which is good. I mean, it lasts all day. It definitely does last all day, but I wouldn't consider this a long-wearing formulation. Um, it's not going to stay on from morning till late at night. It'll probably get you through most of the day, but I would definitely touch up if I had time later in the evening if I was going to be going out or something like that. Um, and it's also not transfer resistant. Um, it doesn't claim to be transfer resistant, but that's just something I noticed about the product when I was wearing it. It, it kind of came off on my phone a lot, and um, you just have to kind of be careful not to like brush your face onto your clothes or anything. It wasn't terribly noticeable, but you know, after wearing um, a lot of foundations that really are truly um, transfer resistant, going back to something like this that's not transfer resistant was a little bit of a uh, adjustment for me. So overall, I really do like this foundation. I probably wouldn't use it in the summer months, but I think it's really good for all other seasons. Um, like I said, my skin gets really oily in the summer months, and I think that this would be slightly too moisturizing for me in the summertime. But if you have combination to dry to combination to oily skin and you're looking for something to kind of even you out and balance you out, I would highly recommend trying this. It's a really great product pretty affordable and comes in a pretty um, large variety of shades. Oh, and for those that, of you that were wondering, I am Ivory 3, which is neutral, and these are divided into neutral, golden, and pink undertones. Not on the website, unfortunately, but if you go into the store and you look at the bottom of the label, it will have in parentheses N, P, or G, which means neutral, pink, or golden. So keep that in mind also when you're trying to find your perfect shade. So. Hopefully this review was helpful. If you guys have any questions, um, feel free to message me or comment me below. And um, check out my channel. I have links on there to my Twitter page, to my blog. Uh, I would love to chat with you guys via my blog and via my Twitter. Um, I just love hearing from you guys, so please don't hesitate if you have a question to hit me up. Hope you guys have a good one. Bye.